from different parts of the English capital, but nevertheless with proud traditions to draw upon both. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action from North London as Spurs face Chelsea. And hello, wherever you're watching, welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Chelsea. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, whenever he plays, you should expect goals. He rarely disappoints. I don't think he'll disappoint today either. The goal-scoring record looks shaky to me. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Number 10, Harry Kane. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. N'Golo Conte starts with Tiamue Bakayoko in central midfield. And in attack, it's the very pacey Timo Werner. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Reguilon. Now Dyer. Alderweirel. Doherty has it. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Just cutting off the supply. Well, Spurs really want to win this game after being held to a draw in their last match against Wolverhampton Wanderers. How do you think this game is going to go, Lee? A decent away draw last time out, 2-2. But I think it'll be different today. I think they'll win the game. Takes it on. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Well, for Spurs, the target is very definitely a victory. Remember, they were held to a draw last time out against Wolves. How do you expect this match to go, Lee? Well, all that hard work got themselves into a playoff place. Really good all season. Can they keep it going? We'll find out soon, Derek. Mount, not showing good patience, James, and the timing was perfect, ball one, Reguilon, Lo Celso, now Harry Kane, Matt Doherty, 
And he's in. And still a chance. And it's Winks. Tremendous block. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Alderweirel. Now Dyer. Wonderfully weighted pass. to take on the shot not far away at all with the volley well to catch it like that you've got to have really good technique and oh so close oh he knows that could have been the game right there you can see his frustration as well Can they do from here? That's how to rob them of possession. Mount. Conte. Pulisic. Look at Dinia. And Pulisic has it. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. an effective cross aimed at the back post and a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened on and on he goes Reese James this looks threatening well that's really sound goalkeeping not letting the opposition have any scraps and news of a goal coming through from the Etihad Stadium. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Manchester City. Chance here. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So 2-0 now. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in full flight. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. Werner. Conte has it. An alert intervention. And he was in the right place to intercept. Toby Alderweireld could give it away here. Bale. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Really well played pass. Cross could be useful. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Use of a goal at the Emirates. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Leicester City. 39 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. 
He's got the right idea with that pass. Offside, a tight one. to put too fine a point on it they're in a wretched situation what can they do to rectify this lead well Chelsea have just got to change things up they really have it's simply not working their game plans all over the place take a chance try and get a goal before half time it could change the complexion of this game Lo Celso well, they could really get at the opposition well a badly timed run just a fraction offside Timo Werner we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here Son and threading it forward takes it on he can't hold on to it well this is the home of live football and we'll have live coverage of the third round of the FA Cup for you it's Chelsea facing Brentford. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Conte. Here is Digne. Mount. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game in attack, Lee. Well, his overall game is top draw, but his quality when it comes to finding the back of the net is there for all to see. And we've seen it again here today. And they kick off here. They make the opening statement. Happy to take on the shot. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping. To the second half then and it's not lost on Chelsea that they need to raise their game here look at Dinia Bakayoko has it Ikone Bakayoko and there's the feed into the box and well, the danger is still there Threat over for now, it seems. And news of a goal in the City game, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. 
A suspicion of a foul as he climbed above his marker to head home. 48 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Look at Dinia. And Pulisic has it. Matt Doherty. Bale. Kane. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. James. And on the ball, Ikone. Tiamue Bakayoko. And a goal has gone in in the West Ham game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for West Ham United. It's been scored by Sebastian Haller. It came from a free kick that Cannon back from the wall and he imperiously dispatched it back over the wall and past the stranded keeper. 57 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Crossing opportunity. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Harry Kane. Promising looking ball. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Tiamue Bakayoko. Timo Werner. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Jorginho, and he takes it away. And it's a quality pass. Will it be? Can they slot it home? What an important piece of defending. Kai Havertz. Pulisic. Werner. Gives it a go. Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent positioning from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. And news of a goal in the City game, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Jordi Alba. The ball arrived at his feet. Far pulled. Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And they are running away with it, seemingly. 3-0 in front. Ousmane Dembele prepared to fire. And cleared away. Lo Celso. Moving it forward. Kai Havertz and space for the cross getting news of a goal in the Arsenal match Alan McAnally it's a second goal for Leicester City 10 minutes remain 2-2 Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse read it superbly to take back possession oh lovely weighted ball they might be in Son on seducing with his passing not to be this time they might be able to get in now he's managed to get in behind oh there it is a lifeline in this game a 
and what a finale we could be in for here. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Well, this Tottenham team has worked their socks off today to get themselves into this position. Just need to see it out now. The fans are doing their bit. Well, they could really get at the opposition and the right place to cut out the pass. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. A corner kick, and who knows? This might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Making sure nothing came of it. Habert. Nicely timed tackle. Look at Dinia. That's a nice looking ball. And the referee says that will do it for this contest. It is a Spurs success story lead. Just nudging ahead when they did as won it for him in the end. Really tight affair that was. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. Catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique and oh, so close. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping. He's managed to get in behind. 